Okay, good morning, everybody. So, in the last class, we have already finished the graphical method. So, now we'll start from the pairs of linear equations. You have to find the unknown value. Exercise 4.1. Question number 4. Okay, look in our textbook. So find the value of P for which the following pairs of equation has a unique solution. So that three given question all are unique solution. Unique solution means consistent. So what is the ratio of the pairs of consistent? A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. So we have to consider this one and find the value of the P. Okay, start Roman number 1. Roman number 1 is 4x plus PY plus 5 equal to 0. And 2x plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0. So now, in this case, what is the value of a1? a1 is equal to 4. And b1 is equal to p. And c1 is equal to 5. And a2 is equal to 2. B2 is equal to B2 is equal to 3 and C2 equal to 7. And what is the given condition? Since the given pairs of linear equation has unique solution. Okay, since the pair of Linear equation as unique solution. If it is a unique solution, then what is the relation? The ratio of A1 by A2 is not equal to A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. Then what is the value of A1 here? A1 is 4. A2, 2. B2, P. C2, 3. So from this, we have to find the value of P. Okay, cross multiply 2 into P. 2P is not equal to 3 into 4, 12. Then P is equal to 12 divided by 2. 2 times 6. So the, v, the value of P is not equal to 6. So therefore, the value of P is not equal to 6. So in this way, we have to find the value of unknown value P. So this is for question number 4, Roma number 1. I think you already understand. Next, Roma number 2 again. Okay, I will do yourself Roma number 2, Roma number 3. So same case. You have to find the value of A1 by A2. So, 1 by 3, 7x minus 5y minus 4 equal to 0, 14x plus 5y plus 4 equal to 0. So, here, what is the value of A1? 7. B1 minus sine, so minus 5. And C1 
minus 4 A2 14 B2 B2 how much? P and C2 how much? 4 So again what is the given condition? The given condition is since the pairs of linear equations have unique solution then substitute their values a value how much? A is 7. 7 by 14. B value B1 minus 5. B2 P. And this one is equal to A1 A2. B1 B2. Then 7 P is equal to minus 5 into 14. So don't multiply. To make it easier, minus 5 into 14. Minus 5 into 14 divided by 7. Then 7 times 2 minus 10. So therefore, the value of P not equal to the value of P not equal to minus 10. In this way, we have to find the value of unknown value. Okay, copy down. Okay, same pattern as this for question number 5 also. Question number 5. What is that question number 5? Look in the textbook. For what value of A does the pair of linear equations have infinitely many solution? Infinitely many solution means one side there. Since the 
Number six question is Ruben at Expo. Question number six Find the value of unknown value k for which the pair of equation has no solution. 3x plus y equal to 1. Then 3x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Another one 2k minus 1 x plus k minus 1, y, then minus 2k, minus 1 equal to, okay, this one I'll write in the next step, so this one, 2k minus 1, x plus k minus 1, y, that's for this side, minus 2k, that's for this side, minus 1. I'm taking minus common k minus 1 y so taking minus common then 2k plus 1 equal to 0 so for the unique solution or for the no solution the ratio, the ratio is a 1 by a 2 is equal to B1 by B2 but not equal to C1 by C2. This is a relation. So we have to apply. 
area. If it is said that I know that the value of PYA2, I write that again. Since the pairs of linear equation equation has no solution. Has no solution. Has no solution then what's the relation? A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 but not equal to C1 by C2. Okay, substitute their values. What is the value of A1 here? 3. A2, 2k minus 1. And what is the value of B? No coefficient here, 1. And A minus 1. And not equal to C. C value, minus 1. C1, C2 is 2k plus 1. So here also, you can find from this two, or you can find from this two. First, you can find from this two, or with this two, or last, this two. But here, in the last two, we get the value of k is not equal to. And here, the value of k is equal to. And second and last also, we got the value of k is not equal to. So we consider from this two. So now, 3, 2k minus 1, 1 by k minus 1. Cross multiply, 3 into k, 3k, plus minus, minus. 1 into 2k, 2k minus 1. Combine k, k, 3k, minus 2k, equal to minus 1, and this one has plus. 3 minus 2, 1. Then k is equal to plus minus, plus. Minus, plus sign is greater. 3 minus 1 is 2. So therefore, the value of k is in this way, you have to find the value of unknown value k. So this then finishes for the graphical method. And now we'll start the exercise 4.2. Is there any doubt? No. Then we'll proceed exercise 4.2. Solve the following pairs of linear equation by substitution method. So Roman number one and two do yourself. That one is very easy. Just go. Roman number three. Exercise one point two. Question number one. Roman number three. Okay, let it be question number one. And the second one is four x minus. 3y equal to 15. Question number 2. So from these two values, from the first equation, you can find the value of x or y. So after getting the value of x and y, you substitute their values in equation number 2. And we get the another variable. From equation number 1, you find the value of x. Then the value of x will be substituted in equation number 2, then you get the value of y. So that type of method is called substitution method. Okay then, look here. Now, from 1. You want to find
find the value of x or y. Okay, find x. Then this one will be bolding x. That's what I decide. 4 minus 5y. Then x is equal to 4 minus 5y by 3. So let it be question number 3 again. That value x equal to 4 minus 4y by 3. That value should be substituted in equation number 2. Then we got the value of y. And substituting x equal to 4 minus 5y by 3 in equation number 2. What is that equation number 2? 4x minus 3y is equal to 15. Okay, substitute here the value of x. 4, 4 into x, then the value of x is 4 minus 5y by 3 minus 3y is equal to 15. Okay, multiply. 4, 4 are 16. 4, 5 are 20. And after this, this one fraction. So take the LCM of this. So what is the LCM of 3 and 1? LCM of 3 and 1 is 3. 3 divide 3, we got 1. 1 multiplied with this number, then we got this number. And what side here? Minus. And what number here? 1. 1 divide 3, 3. 3 should multiply with 3. 3, 3 are 9. Then 3, 16 here. These two are negative. Minus, minus, plus. Sign will be negative because both of them are negative. And this one has 3, 5 are 15. 3, 1 are 3, 4. And this one has 16. That's what this side. Or this side you can find it. 45 equal to 39y. Then plus minus this side is better. Minus. 45 minus 6. 5 minus 6. 9. 3 minus 1. 2. 20, 30, 39, 45. Then the value of y is minus 29 by 29 is equal to y. Then minus 1 is equal to y. So from equation number 2, after substituting the values of x, we got the value of y is minus 1. Then y then again substitute in equation number 3. Again, substituting y equal to minus 1 in 3. What is that equation number 3? x is equal to 4 minus 5y by 3. Then 4. 5 into y. y value is 